Just a quick PSA before we start, if your mod is featured in any of my videos, feel free to use the footage for whatever. So we all know how the Safi Jiva Siege is the greatest thing ever made, and we all love doing it over and over and over and over and... Well, here's a few mods that hopefully might make it a little more worth your while to grind out that red dragon. We start off not with number 5, but we're going to start off with a nice little bonus addition to the list so you guys can really get your money's worth. A mod like this is something that you can absolutely see being created in the Iceborne universe. Well, I'll go a step further and say this is probably how this Safi weapon should have looked in the first place. User Soccer Dude 492 gives us asterisk ampersands, beautiful greatsword fit not only for a demon hunter, but more than good enough for us monster hunters. Their version of the Dante Devil Sword looks incredible in its own right, but it's a fantastic fit for a Safi weapon. It even looks dope when it's sheathed, but when you break this bad boy out, the sword opens up and the inside has a fantastic glow with horn-like designs right above the hilt. The OG Safi greatswords just seem a bit too bulky and cluttered in their design. It's not so much like they look like they were crafted from Safi, but more so they just ripped off a chunk and did some minimal shaping. Asterisk ampersand gives us a greatsword that checks everything off the list while sticking to the all-powerful theme that the Safi weapons give off. To actually start this list off, we have a very talented modder by the name of Lyra Vale, who shares with us a mod for the Lance and Insect Glaive Safi weapons. The Longinus Lance and Insect Glaive mod gives us an extremely awesome looking lance or glaive that will have a different color glow depending on your type of Safi weapon. What is consistent no matter what type is the fact that you'll get to use a very clean, decorative weapon with great detail and a dope color scheme. If you're a lance user, you even get an awesome looking magical shield somewhat akin to what you get with a Dante charge blade. Insect glaive users will also get different effects depending on what kinsect you have and their bonus. I'm partial to the lance and will have no problem reusing the Safi lances I have thanks to this mod. Now at number four, we have the Untouched Hellblades by iPhone XS, points for the username. I'm not a super frequent dual blades user, but I can admit that they really do get some sweet designs for their weapons even without mods. But this mod here really does produce some of my favorite looking dual blades in the entire game. The original Safi dual blades seemed a little too bulky to me, especially for a weapon that is super agile and precise with every cut it makes. Having something sleek, sharp, and stylish like the Hellblades make a lot more sense and in my opinion, look even cooler. Just like our previous mod on the list, the color of the glow depends on the status or element of the Safi dual blades that you're using. Coming in at number three, we break away from the weapons and actually go to Safi Jiva itself. The same author, Lyra Vale, that did the lance and insect glaive comes back into the picture with a rework of Safi altogether. There are three different versions of the mod which see Safi go into a makeover in all of them. You can make Safi more akin to his previous stage, but the glowing chest like Xeno had. The detail inside of Safi's wings also gets a nice touch up with some blue coloring. If you really want to get crazy, you can change the color of Safi itself entirely. One of the versions sees Safi keeping that burning Xeno chest while the rest of its body has more of a blue hue to it. I have to say that this version is my favorite of the three. Using things like this mod can really help to take away some of that disdain you might have for the siege after having to grind it out over and over and over. And if you're like myself and play on multiple platforms, it can really get to you quick when you do it on the latter platform. Having this in place helped me get more enjoyment out of having to grind out all of those elemental hunting horns again. Come Coming in at number two, we have one that was so unexpected and just such a pleasure to find that based on the idea alone, it bought its ticket to number two. For you Lord of the Rings fans, or you people that are obsessed with any kind of creative work that Benedict Cumberbatch does, like me, an author previously featured on my mod showcase videos, which you should check out after this, Wasteland Jean again brings their creative mind into the ring with the Smaug. SFX over Safi Jiva mod. Foolishly, I never thought to myself that Smaug's voice would be a perfect fit for the Safi Siege, but that's why I'm sitting here writing a script for a video while Wasteland Jean is bringing us gold like this. Throughout the entire fight, you get the brilliant work of Cumberbatch as Smaug. It's a bit hard to hear if you have your background music at 100 or if the losers that chime into you throughout the fight start running their mouths. So I went ahead and turned both down to get a better listen. Enjoy. 
My wings are a hurricane! Another sad thing was that the very best part of the mod for some reason didn't work for me. There's a good example of it on the mod page thankfully, so enjoy this version of Sapphire of the Emperor featuring Smaug. At number one, we're back to the weapon designs with another appearance from Gato, who has also been featured in previous mod videos, which you still need to check out after this. They are also the author of the impeccable Berserk armor that I absolutely refuse to ever take off, and that will be linked with all of these other mods as well. The Planetary Hammers mod is absolutely beautiful and extremely well done, per usual. This mod actually has four different versions that you can choose from. Each version has a differentiating design of the rings that surround the planetary image. I'm showing off the lightning ring version, which happens to be my favorite. You can also choose from fire, gold, or silver rings to better suit your fashion. While it doesn't look so much like something that would be crafted in the Monster Hunter world, I think we can all agree that we don't care and are just thankful that Gato continues to bless us with incredible mods. But that's gonna be it for this one. I know the Safi Siege can get old pretty fast, especially if you don't have much luck running with random groups, but if you toss in some of these mods, they might just ease the pain while you're doing it or give you a satisfactory reward when you're done. PC users, get your yourself ready for Raging Bracadios and Furious Rajong, and let's put these Safi weapons to use. If you liked the video, please do let me know with a thumbs up. Comment below what you think of the list, and if you have any other mods that might help to spice up the Safi Siege. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Iceborne and other gaming content. Dudes forever, have a good night, and happy hunting.